to my channel so today we're doing another squidgy video we are going to be using a piece of paper and my squeeze bottle paint i've used this technique before and i will link it up in the eye and down below in the description last time it was really abstract so for this one i really want to try and make a design i've decided to go with a koi fish and some water plants so let's see if we can make it work. I've lightly drawn my design on the paper. I wanted to start with white, but I think going with the green first is a better idea. That way I get a bit of a feel of how the paint is going to flow onto the paper. So let's start by doing some outlines of the leaves. The paint I'm using is a combination of the IKEA paint and some normal acrylic paint and just added some water to make it flow nicer. I really like using these IKEA paint bottles because they're not too hard to squeeze. I think I've got the feeling for it, so I'm confident to do the outlines of the fish now. The reason I wanted to try this again is because I saw Chloe Rose do this technique on her channel and explaining actually how it works. From what I understand is by placing the paint on the borders, it makes kind of a barrier between the different colors. And that is what's keeping the shapes separate. The paint is also staining the paper, so when you drag the rest of the colors over it, they will glide over the paint that's already on the bottom, so the paper doesn't really grab onto it. Let's add the eyes. The black feels a little bit thin, but I think it will be okay. Now it's time to add some orange patches. I believe normally these areas are red, but I really like how bright this orange is. Let's add a couple more details in white. And I think the leaves need a little bit more definition too. And for an extra pop of color, let's do a pink flower. I want to use some silver in the water to give it a little bit of a feeling like it's flowing. I'm not sure if the silver is actually going to show up, but at least it will give us a little bit of a shimmer. And I think the final step will be to add some blue as the water. I was thinking of just putting it in the front, but I decided to do a little bit more waves in the middle just to make sure there's enough paint on the paper. I think we're ready to do our swipe. I'm kind of nervous if it's actually gonna work, but let's just count down and go for it. Three, two, one, go. Oh wow, it's working. Oh, I'm so happy with this. It looks so good. I really like how the paint blended. It gives a feel of movement to the piece. I'm just wondering if we can get it to be a little bit better. For example, the spot on the head, it's not completely orange. It has blue in the center. So let me put this away and we can try it a little bit different. So for my second try, I wanted to see if it makes a difference if you add a lot more paint to the open areas. For example, the spots on the body. Because in theory, by adding more paint to those areas, the paint you pull over won't grab onto the paper. So those areas will be all filled with orange instead of having blue in the center. So let's add our blue. I'm just going to add a second color. This is a petrol by Van Blijswijk. This time I'm just adding the blue in the front and not in the center. So let's try this again. One, two, three. Oh wow, look at that. You can really see the fish this time, but I still got the nice blending in the back. It's interesting to see that the petrol actually didn't show up that much. And I do have this area where there's a little bit too much paint. I think that's because the paper got a little bit too wet. You can see it has a little bit of rimples in it. So let me put this to the side and try this again. I think it's time to try it on some fancy paper. This paper is a lot thicker and really nice and smooth. So I'm hoping that I can get a nice smooth pull. I'm also making the flowers and the leaves a little bit bigger so I get a more balanced piece. I'm making sure to cover every single piece of paper I don't want the blue to touch. I also added some painter's tape on the sides to create a border. I'm putting the blue on top of the tape. This way it doesn't stain the paper and I won't get that dark blue line there. So let's see what we get. The squeegee does slide a lot easier over this paper. I think I might have added a little bit too much paint to this one because as you can see, the blue didn't get to the paper on the spots it actually had to. So let's see if we can fix it by adding some blue outlines and also some white and doing a second pass with the squeegee. Oh wow, that's giving such a nice effect. I really thought I was going to ruin it, but layering the colors actually looks really pretty. So I'm gonna let everything dry and I'll show you the final results. So here are the final pieces. And they actually came out really, really nice. So this was the first one we did. I really liked the lines, but then we did the second one. So on this one, you can clearly see the fish. And because my placement is kind of textured, it leaves this cool design on the paper, which reminds me a lot of canvas. 
And then we come to the third one, which wasn't a win, but also wasn't a fail. But all of these tests helped me to understand this technique a lot better and make me feel a lot more confident to try it on a different kind of paper. So here it is, the final piece. And I'm really, really happy with it. It kind of reminds me of watercolors. And taping off the side with some tape really was the right decision. It gave it such a nice crisp border. Let me zoom out a bit so you can actually see the whole piece. I did forget to tape it down while it was drying. So it's a little bit warped, but nothing a good iron won't fix. I really like how the details of the face came out. I hope this video helps you to understand this technique a little bit better. And I would love to know if you're gonna try it for yourself. I do think it's most suited for simple designs. But as I showed you in the last one, you can do multiple layers and create a more intricate design that way. But for now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!